safety in Formula E comes in two forms. First of all, crash safety for when the car has an accident, and then electrical safety for all the systems that are on the car. The chassis itself is built to FIA standards for safety, so the car is crash tested and is load tested to make sure all the structures are able to withstand uh, major accidents. So the driver sits within uh, a survival cell, and this carbon fibre cell that the driver sits in has intrusion panels on the side to prevent side impacts um, causing uh, parts to enter the car. It has a crash box on the front of the car for frontal accidents and the wing-like structures that you see on the side of the chassis are actually for side impact crashes. These aren't actually aerofoils or aerodynamic aids at all. And then at the back of the car you have another crash structure and this is for rear impacts and that will obviously hit any obstacle or wall first decelerating the driver so they don't get injured in rear accidents. When we then look at the electrical safety of the car, you have a very large and a very powerful battery. Now, the batteries itself, the units are sat inside a carbon fibre cell which is there for crash protection. This has been crash tested by Williams Advanced Engineering who produced the entire battery system. Also, within the battery cell, you have fire suppression and you've also the ability to uh, earth the battery in case of uh, an accident so that it doesn't become live. And then, Away from the battery, all the other major structures of the cars are bonded electrically back to the battery. So should there be any problem with the battery or leakage from cabling around the car, it's all earthed back and it's safe for both the driver and for any marshals to be able to touch the car without risk of electrical shock.